Hi, I'm a Mr. Stem, and thanks for coming back to my channel to watch another episode. If this is your first time to watch my video, you know what to do. When you run Octave, the initial default setting may not be working best for your project, and I will show you the first five things to do to improve your work productivity in your GNU Octave. During this video, I will show you how to optimize the main window layout and easily access to the primary working directory for your project. At the end, I will show you how to customize the built-in script editor. Here are the timestamps for each topic. You can jump in the topic that you want to watch. Without further ado, let's dive in. In this section, I will show you how to optimize the main window layout for your project. At the time of recording, the latest GNU Octave version is 6.1.0, and you might have a different version. If you install GNU Octave Fresh, your main window has five sub-windows, including File Browser, Workspace, Command History, Command Window, and Variable Editor. For some reason, if you have different window layout, you can go to Window menu on top, and then select the Reset Default Window Layout. Now you can go back to the initial window layout, which I'm showing here. You can simply resize the sub-window by adjusting borders. You can close if you do not need any of this. For example, I will close the documentation window. If you want to get it back, you can click the Window menu and hit the Show window that you just closed. In this case, you will need to hit the Show Documentation window. Now you can see it again. Probably, most commonly used window is the Command window and Script Editor during your project. In the Command window, you will need to see the result while you write scripts and user-defined functions during your project. Unfortunately, in the default main window layout, you need to jump between two windows by clicking the tabs which is very painful. To resolve this issue, you may want to put two windows sitting right next to each other. The first one is to go to the top portion of each sub-window that you want to move and click and drag to move. Please make sure that you click an area as thick as a window heading, otherwise it does not move. Now you can move it to the existing sub-window area or the interface between to squeeze in. Once you drop in the existing area, it will insert as an additional window tab. If you want to lay out as a separate window, you can move it between two sub-windows. To rearrange the command window and script editor sitting right next to each other, just like a MATLAB default window layout, you can drag the command window and drop in below the editor. Now you can see the result during your script and user-defined function writing. For your project, you will typically need to create multiple M files. Those can be scripts or user-defined function. You can save them in default current working directory, but you may want to create your own directory for saving your project work. By the way, the directory is the same as the folder in terms of functionality, but the different name. You can create a such a folder anywhere you want. However, I recommend you to create under a root directory since it is easy to access. Let's create a folder Mr. Stamp at you as an example. However, you can choose your own directory name. For demonstration purpose, I will make two sub-directories under Mr. Stem Edu, which are Project 1 and Project 2. Also, we build two example script ex1 and ex2, and that will be saved under each folder. The script files save as m file. In other words, the script file is m file. The ex1.m displays hello world using a printf function, ex2.m as the numbers given in two variables, a and b, and display the calculation result. To run the script files, 
the M file should be given in the either current working directory or path. The default current working directory can be found under the menu bar, and my default current working directory may be different from yours. You can also find it by typing pwd in command window. pwd stands for the print working directory. For now, your ex1.m file is given under C Mr. Stem edu project1, which is different from the current working directory. When you try to run by typing ex1, we find an error, meaning Octave cannot find such an M file. However, we do know ex1.m is saved under project1. The issue is that Octave searches ex1.m under the current working directory or a list of paths. However, ex1.m cannot be found there. The solution to this is to change the current working directory to the one where it has ex1.m. I'll show you how to add it to the load path later, and now I focus on how to change the current working directory to run the ex1.m. To change it, you can click the directory icon and then find the one that you want to change it to. In this case, I select Mr. Stem at you, Project 1, and choose. Or you can type CD followed by the path name to the move to in the command window. Here I type CD C Mr. Stem add you project one. For your information, CD stands for the change directory. And then type PWD to confirm that we switch to the different one. So you can run x1.m in command window. Now the issue is that the current working directory will go back to the default setting when you exit and reopen Octave. In the next section, I'll show how to set the current working directory at Octave Startup. Like I mentioned before, the current working directory does not remember the previous one after you relaunch Octave. Changing the current working directory to the one that you like every time is painful. To automatically change the current working directory at the Octave Startup, you can go to Edit, Preferences, General tab, go to Octave Startup, browse, and choose and hit OK. If you want to restore the previous one, you can check this checkbox and hit OK. Now you can exit, relaunch, and wait a couple of seconds the current working directory will be changing to the new folder name. You can conveniently access the M files from your project folder that you set. Oftentimes, you need to run the M files outside of the current working directory, especially when you call some common M files sitting outside of the current working directory. For example, your current working directory is a project1, but you want to run ex2.m from project2 folder. When you run ex2 from the current working directory, which is project1, it will give you an error, since Octave2 cannot find ex2.m. To resolve this issue, you can add project2 folder to the path that Octave can search under. So you can let Octave find the ex2.m without changing the current working directory. One way is to go to Edit, Set Path, and then hit Add Folder. You can choose Single Folder or Folder with Subfolders. Typically, I choose Folder with Subfolders so that you can include Folder with Subfolders to Path. Single folder means you add only one specific folder without including subfolders. You can browse and add the folder to the path and hit OK. In this case, I will choose Mr. Stem to include Project 1 and Project 2 together. 
Now you can see three new folder has been added to the path. If you want to remove, you can select the folder that you want to remove and hit remove. I save it and hit close. Now we can run ex2.m even though it is outside of the current working directory, which is project 1. So basically, adding it to the path means that Octave can find the M file under the searchable or register directory, also known as a register path or load path. For some users, the default font and font size may not be ideal choice, especially for the command window and script editor. You may want to customize them for your need. You can go to Edit, Preferences, hit the tab that you want to change. In this case, I will change the command window, but you can also do other window tab. You can change the font and font size for your preferences. In summary, I shared five things to do after you install GNU Octave to improve your productivity. The first thing is to optimize the main working window layout, especially you can see the command window while you're working with the script. Also, you can change the position of the other windows to increase productivity. Secondly, I also showed you how to change the current working directory and add the path to run your script seamlessly. I also showed how to change the font and font size and other settings for a command window. Hope this tutorial video is useful for your GNU Octave project. Thanks for watching this video and please subscribe my channel if you haven't done it yet. Thumbs up if you enjoyed. Please feel free to share your thoughts in the comment section down below. See you next time.